Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So we've got this bag of pennies to go through yet. So 13 and a half pounds of pennies. Uh, apparently it's supposed to be $25 in pennies. Uh, so I've looked through. I, I have seen a few young heads in here. I uh, don't know if I can see any right at the moment. There is a mix of U.S. and Canadian as well. Uh, I don't see anything jumping out of me, but I did see some young heads. So there's going to be some fines for sure. Uh, so let's get into it. I'll grab my knife and uh, obviously there's no rolls that we're counting. So I'll just periodically stop in and let you know how I'm doing unless I find something really cool. All right, let's have at it. All right, well, we are uh, six, uh, I don't know, maybe eight pennies in. I was just starting to pull the U.S. coins out of there. Uncover this uh, King George. So let's see what we've got. Uh, just use my other hand because this tends to put me out of focus if I use that hand. 1949. It's nice. It's good shape. Yeah. I'll take that for a dollar or for a penny. Um, and as I was looking, I think this is an even older penny right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that looks like it might be a King George V. Let's just see. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm wrong. That is a U.S. penny. Oh, there's a King George, though, just over here. King George VI right there. Uh, so, yeah, so that uh, the larger, the one cent writing is similar to, I think, what's on the King George V uh, pennies for us. So, yeah, throw that over here. And while we've got you, let's take a look at this King George. Another 1940. Or, sorry, that was, the other one was a 49. This is a 1946. So. 46 to go with the 49. Alright, anything else jumping out at me as I'm looking through? Oh, there's another one right here. King George. So it looks like we're going to have some luck. This is just the first handful that I pulled out. 1951. Um, lots of U.S. in here I'm seeing. 1966, just a couple of years after. Oh, there's a young head right there. 1957. Queen Elizabeth Younghead, and uh, oh, I well, we got our first foreign coin. Uh, sorry, I remembered. Uh, the camera has the lens over on this side of the camera, so um, I think I'm centered, and then I look at it and realize I'm not. So, what is that? Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, 1991. Well, I don't have that one, so I'll stick that up here as well. And oh, this looks like it might be another older coin right in here. Yeah, 1945, King George VI. We almost got all the 40s covered in the first uh, first handful. Uh, 1945. And uh, let's see here. That might be it for... This handful, so just a bunch of U.S. I will go through this a little more carefully, and I'll bring you back in if I find something. Yeah, so I've pulled all the U.S. out. And just as a reminder for some of the other things I'm looking for through here. So, of course, I'm pulling out all the um, 70, 60s and 70s coins. And that's a pretty nice uh, 1979. Just because they're a little bit, uh, a little bit more copper on those. Uh, so anything below 1980 is 3.23 grams. Uh, then it's dropped to 2.8 grams, and then after that was 2.5 grams, and then they even get smaller um, in the more uh, recent years. But uh, uh, so there's a lot of copper in there, and uh, there are people interested in that. So I kind of hang on to all the 70s and 60s that are not young heads and and King Georges. Uh, just set those separately. I'll roll them up and, and probably just sell them off um, that way. And then I'm also going through uh, looking for uh, the 2003 and 2006 variants. Uh, there are many. And uh, so definitely um, some that are magnetic, some that aren't magnetic. Uh, the 2006 has like six different variants. I um, don't know if I've got a 2006 in here anywhere. 
uh, no, 2000, 2001. And so some of them have the RCM logo on the back. Some of them have no logo. Some of them have a P logo. And then each one of those has a magnetic and non-magnetic version of it. So, um, and some of them are quite rare and quite valuable. So it's definitely worth looking through. There's another 1970. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking for that stuff as well. And then apparently uh, there is a magnetic version of the 1999s, 2000, 2001s. I have looked through thousands of pennies and have not found any of them. So I don't know if uh, the Coins in Canada website is correct because I have not run across one and I don't think they're supposed to be. They don't uh, show that they're particularly rare. But anyway, uh, and then there's some oddball ones, 2008. Um, apparently there's a non-magnetic version of it. Uh, this one here is magnetic, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so... Uh, so yeah, so there um, there are a few that I appear to be missing, but I've gone through thousands and thousands of these pennies and not found them. So primarily what I'm looking for is the 2003, 2006 stuff, and of course then the um, uh, the older coins there as well. So that was pretty good. That was just the first handful that I pulled out of there. So all right, I'll bring you back in when I find something else. So that's the second handful that I've pulled out of there. So I'm going to do this in, um, do it this way. And then if this ends up starting to become a long video, then I might have to do it in larger batches. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm finding lots of stuff as I go through here. I have a, a couple George heads here. I've got a 1946, uh, pretty beat up and in rough shape. But that's King George VI. And then uh, we have another King George here, 1943. I think that is the, that's the oldest... Uh, um, so far. And then a uh, young head, 1856 uh, young head there. So, uh, And then the other um, coin that I pulled out, just to talk about briefly, uh, I did talk about it in my last video, but just to uh, remind you, one of the other coins that I'm looking for is the 1985 uh, pointed five. So where that, uh, the top of the five has kind of a, uh, it has a pointed top to it so it's kind of angled there rather than straight up and down so looking for that as well and uh yeah that's it all right uh we'll keep hunting here good start so far more finds so uh we will probably start combining um handfuls here as i uh, i'm finding lots of stuff in this so this uh, bag's turning out to be um pretty awesome uh so yeah we've got uh some more king george heads here so a couple 1940s uh, one's pretty beat up, a 1943, a 47. Um, I did check it. Uh, there's no maple leaf on there. Uh, so that is the plain version of the 47, which is uh, actually uh, pretty good. And uh, the 1955, 50, uh, 1960, and 1963 young heads there. I did check the 1955 for the no shoulder fold, um, and it's not. I also got a wheat penny, 1945 uh, wheat penny. And uh, there's a uh, double die obverse, which I haven't actually looked for. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it because I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for on here. Um, don't see anything in the date. I'll do a little bit more research on that. Uh, let's see if I can find out where the doubling is. Um, but uh, I don't see anything jumping out at me there. It's a wheat cent and it's 1945, so I'd be hanging on to that anyway. And then uh, I got three 1985s here, which I checked for the pointed five. Uh, none of them have it. Uh, there's a really nice 1985 um, on top there. It doesn't replace what I have in my book, but I may just throw that in with uh, some of the rest of the more brilliant um, earlier pennies that I've been saving. And uh, that's it. So if anybody's wondering if I just have really small hands, and that's why there's not uh, <laughs> not a lot here. Uh, I am Half of these are U.S. coins, so... Um, I've already pulled out um, at least, you know, this much or more um, of U.S. coins and uh, that weren't wheat cents and uh, throwing them in my, my jar over here. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm taking a big handful out and uh, finding lots of stuff in each one. So, all right, probably bring you in after a couple handfuls so that this doesn't become a super long video. So, we're, I don't know, four or five handholds, uh, handfuls later, and uh, this is what I've got out of that selection. So, I've got three 1964s, three 1962s, two 1957s. Uh, so, those, those are all the young heads. And then, of course, we've got the King George's here, 1951s, uh, 42, 40. And I got two wheat cents, uh, 56D and a 45 Philadelphia. Um, checked all of these for variants. Um, there are some additional uh, kind of less uh, valuable variants, the hanging sevens, and uh, so there's a die clash in almost all of these, this kind of L-shaped die clash just above the last number um, in each of these. So I will check those later. Uh, they're not as particularly valuable, but any of the major variants I did look through, and they are not any of those. So add those to the pile, and we'll move on. 
Uh, two or three more handfuls, and we're probably not even halfway through the bag yet. And anyway, this is what I found in this um, batch. So got a couple foreigns here uh, that we picked up. Uh, we got an English penny and uh, another Trinidad and Tobago coin uh, to go with the one we got earlier. Um, I have this 1983 set aside just because I'm going to check it against my book because uh, it's nice, uh, um, fairly brilliant coin. And then, of course, uh, we got the young heads here. And got a bunch of King Georges, uh, and then we picked up a few more wheat scents. So um, the only one that uh, I could see that had any kind of variant was the 1950, yeah, 53D, and it has a double die reverse uh, where there's some doubling on the United States. I did check it; it doesn't seem to be anything there. So that's it. I'll add, add those to the pile and keep going. All right, so I think we're over the halfway mark, uh, maybe, and. Uh, Got a bunch more. I was starting to run out of room here with the new stuff, so I thought I would bring you in for what I have found. So I got a bunch more young heads there, as you can see. Uh, I also have some uh, King George's, uh, 1940s and 43s, and then a bunch of wheat scents that came up. So I'll let you take a look through this. I have kind of scanned, but I'm, I'm not going to look through for all of the varieties and so on. If any of you uh, American coin collectors are watching this and you see something I should be uh, taking a closer look at, uh, please let me know. And uh, I'll be hanging on to all these anyway, so I'll stick them up for the rest, and we'll keep going on. As you can see, I've upgraded my cup for U.S. coin because I was running out of room in the other one. Uh, lots of U.S. coin in there. This is all, of course, non-wheat scents, um, more modern stuff. And I'm just going to go through that and make sure that it fits into my... Um, or see if there's any spots that uh, it fills in my collection there. So, all right, moving on. So we are done. So I've actually moved the, the last few finds up just to do the recap all at once. Um, the last part of the bag was a little slower than the uh, first part of the bag. I did find some, some more, mostly the young heads um, and a few more wheat scents. Uh, so one of the cool finds I did find uh, in the last little bit was this 1920. So I did find a 1920 wheat scent from the U.S. there. and So that's kind of cool. Also got um, a couple more 40s and a bunch of 50s in the wheat scents. So a good stack of wheat scents there. I think it's about 10 or so of the 50s. And uh, and then I got uh, three, about seven. So I might have like 11 of the 50s and uh, seven of the in the 40s and then one in the 20s. Uh, then the King George's. Uh, right from 52 uh, all the way down, I got most of them, missing a 48. The uh, 47, I think I said earlier I was looking for a dot on there. There's actually no dot on the penny. Um, it's just the maple leaf and the, the plain. And the um, and then there's a variation on the maple leaf 47, uh, but we didn't get any of the maple leaf ones. So that's fine, 46s and 45s, a bunch of 43s, 42, 41, and a bunch of the 40s. So... So almost got to the uh, uh, King George V, but uh, no such luck. Would have loved to have seen a couple King George Vs. We got really close. In the 64s, I've gone through. There are quite a few variations to look for in the 64, uh, including a dot version where there's a dot over the 9. Also a extra spine variant uh, where in the... I uh, just to set these aside so just so I can uh, remember to talk about them. So on the 64 there, there can be an extra spine in this little fork in the branch there just above my finger. Uh, and then there can be a dot above the nine. Uh, and then all of the young heads pretty much have an opportunity for a die clash error that they call the hanging four or hanging three. It depends on what the last number in the date is. And that die clash is kind of like an um, L-shaped uh, uh, die clash that makes it look like it's hanging off something. So none of these have them i have looked through them all so we uh don't have any of the variants in here so then the 55 of course has the shoulder fold um variant so you're looking for the no shoulder fold version where the i and dei on the back here is kind of flared at the top and bottom uh, these ones are not and then the 52 is also a shoulder or sorry 53 also has the shoulder fold um, variant the uh, and you're looking for the opposite, so you're looking for this. This one does have the flaring on the eye, and uh, you're looking for the one that doesn't have that. So I do not have any of the variants in any of these coins. Look at that. So you think that's dirty? Check this hand out. So if you ever think you're um, 
<laughs> your money's not dirty. Uh, that's a pretty good proof there. So, all right, well, that is it. We had a pretty good haul in terms of Young Heads and King George's, uh, a nice uh, 1920 in the uh, U.S. wheat cents, and a couple uh, foreign coins up there, if you remember, um, as well. And that's it. So thank you very much for joining me for this. Uh, that was an awesome little haul out of that bag. And uh, looking forward to doing more pennies. I'll keep looking as I uh, go around picking up my boxes for quarters and dimes and so on. Bound to find some more. Uh, it's a lot of fun going through these. Lots of stuff to look for when you're hunting pennies. So, all right. Awesome. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. This Great White Northerner. I'm out of here. Take care. The music when it's dropping hey, Something about these vibes hey, Divided in these lines hey, I'm trying to design the rhyme Checking my mind hey, Music for your sky The guy ahead of my time hey, Beat for your sky Cause I feed it for yeah, the blind yeah, yeah. Money ain't nothing You turn it into something The sun and for the money Make you look real funny hey, Put my own name In discussion I'm a hustler Work a real hard To show you that I'm coming yeah. So let me see you